Traveling in the Philippines is absolutely a fantastic experience especially for first-time visitors. You'll be surprised to know that trains, taxis, planes, and buses are not the only way to get around. With over 7,000 islands, the Philippines has various modes of transportation, which makes it easy to get to places especially in remote areas where traveling can be tough because roads are not yet developed. Welcome to ph.net. Please consider subscribing and hit the notification bell for more videos. Here are six unique modes of transportation you'll see in the Philippines. First one on our list is the jeepney. Riding a jeepney is a convenient and most common way of traveling in the Philippines. Touted as the king of the road, jeepneys or jeeps are used everywhere in the country. The U.S. military jeep was originally introduced by the Americans in the Philippines during the World War II. After being mostly destroyed during the war, these U.S. military jeeps left over have been modified and lengthened by Filipinos to accommodate passengers. Jeepneys have been developed over the years and are now the most popular form of public transportation in the country. Aside from jeepneys, another popular and very affordable means of transportation in the Philippines is the tricycle. Many foreign tourists come to the Philippines to experience the ride with these three-wheeled vehicles. Tricycles are motorcycles with an attached sidecar and are usually less visible in major highways in the country. No one knows exactly when tricycles first appeared in the Philippines, but it was believed that they started appearing after the World War II. These are usually used in short-distance travels. Tricycles are available in both cities and provinces throughout the Philippines, but are regularly noticed around towns, subdivisions, and side streets. If a motorcycle with a sidecar is called tricycle, another very similar means of transport in the country is the pedicab. This is a bicycle with a sidecar attached to it. Pedicabs are more commonly known as Pudjack in the Philippines. What's great about pedicabs is there's no cost for gasoline, and it has minimal maintenance, since it uses human pedal power. Those underprivileged who can't afford tricycles or jeepneys opt for pedicabs and make it their source of income to support their families. Pedicabs are usually only allowed on small streets and towns, but you may also sometimes see them on national roads. Since Philippines has more than 7,000 islands, it wouldn't be possible to cross one island to another without a bonka. Bonkas are traditional boats in the Philippines. These are the primary water transportation in the country which were originally used for fishing and transporting goods in the past. Nowadays, bonka are still widely used all over the Philippines as means of water transportation for people and goods, still used for fishing, and also for island hopping tours. Next is the Hobble Hobble. To avoid the heavy traffic, especially around Metro Manila and other busy cities around the country, Filipinos have thought of a fast and convenient way to reach their destination. Hobble Hobble is simply a motorbike or a motorcycle with a driver for rent. This is also known as the motorcycle taxi, which is a licensed form of transportation in some countries. Hobble Hobble is also a popular way of traveling in many provinces around the Philippines, especially in mountainous and in remote areas with rough and narrow roads. And last one on our list is the Kalesa. During the colonial era in the Philippines, Kalesa was a primary mode of public and private transportation in the country which was introduced by the Spanish in the 18th century. 
The use of these two-wheeled horse-drawn carriages only shrinked after jeepneys and tricycles became common in the country after the World War II. When visiting the Philippines, you can experience riding a Kalesa in Vigan Alakasar, in Cebu City, or Intramuros in Binondo, which are both located in Manila. Kalesas also exist in some other parts of the country, mostly in places that are widely visited by tourists. And those are six unique modes of transportation you definitely should experience when visiting the country Philippines. Remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you like this video. Thank you for watching.